Hi, I'm an Elliott Skylum education team. And in this video, I wanna show you how to use a combination of Luminar's filters and tools to get soft, smooth, blemish-free skin. Let's get started. Let's start by retouching this image of Brooke. I'm gonna apply a custom look that I created and I'll show you how I created it. Now these are the filters and settings I use to develop the image. And here's the before and after result. Now let's just focus on the skin. From here, I'm gonna apply a structure filter. So the structure filter is designed to add detail and clarity to the image. We want the opposite effect. So here's how it normally is applied with a positive value. This is horrible. What we want to do is apply a negative value. Notice her skin looks porcelain and totally fake. So this is where we dial it back just a bit to where it starts looking more natural. Soft and slider brings back some of the texture in the skin and the boost slider controls the overall amount of the effect. Now let's take it a step further and we're gonna apply the Orton effect. Look how beautiful that looks. Here's without the effect, and here's with the effect. Now let's save this Luminar look so we can apply it to future edits. And at the bottom of the Layers panel, click on Save Luminar Looks, give it a descriptive name, and click the Save button. Now, Luminar Looks that you created can be found in the Luminar Looks collection. How simple was that? Can you see how this will help make retouching your images a lot faster? Now, let me show you how to hide blemishes and wrinkles under the eyes. All right, so let's click the tool button on the top toolbar and we'll select erase. Let's zoom in. Let's draw over the first wrinkle and then the second. And we'll click the erase button and it does a great job in analyzing the pixels around it and helps hide that wrinkle now under the eyes it's going to be a little more difficult because it's going to analyze all the different colors under the eyelashes itself and the skin and it's going to try to match it to the best it can we'll select the area we want to hide And then we'll click the erase button. Now this doesn't look natural, but that's okay. I needed it just as a base. And we'll click Dud to complete the change. Now let's have the structure filter again. And we're gonna smooth out the skin. Bring back some of the softness. There we go. So click the brush symbol and select brush. We're going to paint in the effect. Let's stick to a 50% opacity. And we'll click the visibility icon to see where we're painting. And we're going to come underneath the eyes. And it just smoothed out the skin. And click done. Now, this looks totally unnatural. So, what we want to do is bring back some of the blemishes or some of the wrinkles. So I'm gonna start at a 0% opacity, and this is the original image, and I'm gonna slowly increase it until it looks natural. Let's compare the original to the retouch image. Notice we started out with a very good image, but with a little retouching, we were able to make it look even better. So that's how you use a combination of filters and tools to help smooth the skin and hide wrinkles and blemishes. Well, I'm Vanelli for the Skylum Education Team. Thanks for watching.